We have uh, an important topic to discuss here. We have uh, two guests on the set, if we can introduce them now, on the left side of your screen. Kyle Sonier, he's a familiar face to buyer time, and he's the director of the Lafouche Arc, and also Monique Crochet from the, uh, the City of Thibodeau's uh, office, and she is the Trivia Night chairperson, and she is uh, also joining us today to talk about the fourth annual Trivia Night. And uh, well, welcome to the program. Thank Thanks. you. All right, Kyle, let's start with you. Let's talk about the history of the Lafouche Mayor's Committee uh, on Disability Issues. Well, the, um, the Lafouche Mayor's Committee on Disability Issues started in uh, 2005, a uh, handful of service professionals in the fields of social services and health care got together. We wanted to try and put a committee together that was focused on um, awareness of disability issues in, in all of Lafouche Parish. And uh, we we kicked it off in 05. We were a little stymied with Hurricane Katrina, Katrina and came back in uh, 2006. And uh, since then we became uh, incorporated and uh, got the nonprofit status going. And started doing fundraisers and stuff like that okay and what's the uh, specific purpose or mission of the committee the 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 purpose is to um, enhance awareness of disability issues and programs foster uh, positive attitudes toward um, improving the lives of individuals with disabilities within the parish okay and I know uh, you guys put on a number of events uh, what are some of the events that are sponsored well um, some of the things that we've done with the funds that we've generated, we've purchased uh, handicap accessible playground equipment, uh, which we put in uh, Pelche Park in Thibodeau, and we're currently working on uh, the same type of equipment uh, at Bayou Side Park in Lockport, and we intend to uh, work things out with uh, Golden Meadow and, and continue this this um, this process. We've also we hold an annual awards banquet in October, and uh, it's Disability Awareness Month, and um, we in that banquet we honor people who have achieved great uh, accomplishments um, that have uh, disabilities and also the the service professionals that that work with them and uh, we support um, Thibodeau Recreations Unified Program and different events like that. That's where the funds, you know, go toward these types of programs. Okay. And Monique, how did you get involved in uh, this? I got involved when I started working for the mayor. We, we have a person, a committee member that sits okay. on it. We can have one or two. Got involved with it and really liked the idea. They, they wanted a new chairman. The chairperson has been doing it for three, you know, going on three, four years now. So I got involved with it that way. Um, we're really, uh, the mayor and, and our administration strongly believe in this. It's, you know, it's resources for individuals with disabilities in Lafourche Parish, not only in the city of Thibodeau. Okay. So that's how I got involved. Well, good. And let's talk a little bit about trivia night that's coming up. Sure. Where did the idea come from? The idea came from um, Stephanie Kenny Gomez, who's one of our committee members, is a trivia buff. So she participated. The big one is down in South Lafourche area, and it's with Friends of the Center. So the money they raise is donated to Friends for the Center. And they have about 100 tables. It's fun, and she loved it. So she, just, she suggested it to the committee, why don't we use this as a fundraiser? And it's been working out and growing for the past three years. Okay. And uh, uh, the, I guess the concept is you can have a team and you participate. How many teams uh, have, have joined in the past? The past years, we've had about a tw 23 teams. Okay. And we're hoping, we're pushing for 30, you know, small steps, right? Right. Um, once you get the word out and then... Um, the, the summary of the, the format of it is each team consists of six people, and it's $150 per table. So it's $25. If you divide it, it's $25 per person to play. However, we have a gentleman that came last year and wanted to play by himself. He's oh, like, I'm wow. not sharing. That's smart, huh? So he, he, did, he was, and he paid the $150. And, the, and again, the money, it goes all of it goes to the proceeds for our uh, committee. Okay. Um, so right now, as of today, we have 19 tables um, and I think we'll get some more people kind of last minute I get a phone call probably almost every day okay. asking about it all right and it's going to be at the uh, harangue uh, auditorium right 
Yes, it's at the Rang Auditorium. It's June 25th on a Saturday night. And um, it, the doors open at 5.30. And, Jason, the reason the doors open at 5.30 is we have a silent auction. Okay. So we like to promote that as much as we can for people to come in there. Um, the tables are already numbered so that you go to your table and uh, you kind of shop around for a silent auction. All right. So so how does it work? Do we have – is it sort of like bingo where you call out a question and everybody has to write it down? Uh, is, is that what goes on? Or, or do people blurt out answers and hit a buzzer? No, we have um, we have announcers. We call them a celebrity announcers. Okay. The MC is um, Councilman Gene Richard. All right. We have a few celebrity announcers um, that take categories. So we have ten categories, and they're read. Each question is read in a in the category, and we have two PowerPoint presentations. So if you can't hear, you can see okay. on on the backs of the walls. Am I right in saying that? This is my first year with That's it, right. so if I'm a little rusty. Um, so there's no blurting out answers. The table, we provide the teams with paper and pencils. Okay. So you write your paper, your answers down, and then after each category, we have runners that pick up your answers, and we have a judge that that tallies up. So okay. you don't do it at your table. That You know, we have someone yeah. that does that for well, you. That sounds fun. And, of course, if you have six people or so, you'll be able to mingle as mm -hmm. well and uh, with other teams if you want. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and in addition to just playing the game, what else is going to be going on there? Besides a silent auction, we have a DJ. Okay. This is our first year we have a DJ um, that's going to play, you know, in between. We have made 15-minute intermissions or – um, things of that nature. We'll have a DJ. We have the silent auction. We do have a food court at the Harang Auditorium, so we'll, we'll be serving oh, um, food, maybe hamburgers, hot dogs, you know, um, that we'll have alcoholic beverages for people to purchase, 21 and older, and also we'll have soft drinks and water. It's, so it's fun. They, yeah. It's a really a good time. It seems like fun. For if a good somebody cause. wants to, very good cause, uh, and it's going back to the community. If, if mm -hmm. somebody hasn't registered yet and they want to, where do they go to register? Um, you can go to lmcdi.org. You could uh, also email lmcdi at hotmail.com. And uh, I believe Monique's phone number is Yeah, yeah. And actually, I announced this earlier in the show, so sure. we'll read it again to uh, those who didn't ha have time to jot down the number. Monique's number is 985-448-5852. Okay. And uh, can you register at the door or you want people to pre-register? You can register at the door. We'd rather people pre-register because, you know, we have a set. It's not, it's in the plantation room at the Harang. Okay. We have the whole plantation room. So we like to set our tables up in a certain way. So even if you, we, we'd rather pay in advance, but if someone says, I know we're coming, can you set a table up? Just either email, call, we'll put you a table and we'll have that and we can collect the money that night. But we do have registration that night. Very good. And what's the age limit on people participating in the teams? We say 18 and over. Okay. All right. 18, 18 and, and over. over. And, again, there will be alcohol served there as well. Uh, so bring your tw uh, ID, ID yes. if you're not 21. Correct. Uh, and, and, Kyle, where, where are these funds are going to go? Just let people know how these funds are going to go back into our communities. Well, like the projects uh, I described, 100% uh, of the money that's, that's generated, we, we pretty basically have donations covering all of our costs for the most part. And so all of the monies go back into the community in the various programs. Uh, another thing that's become that's been real popular, we assist restaurants in uh, producing Braille and large print menus throughout the parish. We have many restaurants. We've done that through a grant we've uh, written with cooperation through the Energy, Energy uh, Corporation. Um, but also I wanted to mention that the, the membership in our committee is open to the public. Okay. Anybody, there are no fees, there are no dues, there's nothing uh, like that. We meet every uh, third Tuesday of the month at various locations. And, again, all of the information about our committee can be found on that website at lmcdi.org. Well, thank you for the, uh, the information. Thank you for the good work y'all are doing thank you. Uh, for the community of Lafouche Parish. And uh, we wish y'all well on Trivia Night. Thank you. Thank we you appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks to Kyle and Monique. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take a, a break. When we come back, we will have our veteran segment. And let's see, joining us uh, will be Dr. D, Danny Piku, and also retired General Major Hunt Downer uh, will be here on the set of Bayou Time to talk about the Independence Day celebration for 2011. That's coming up next on Bayou Time.